Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. Welcome to Verbling. Uh, okay, for the next hour, I'm going to try something a little bit different in this class. We're going to do a little bit of an interactive exercise, try to learn a little basic vocabulary uh, about common, everyday things. And also, we're going to practice a little process explanation. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, all right, we're going to take turns uh, amongst the class. Hopefully, we'll get at least three students or more. Um, and the first person is going to suggest something that needs doing around the house. Of course, we all know that we have many things to do around the house. Yeah, you could talk about uh, making a sandwich or mopping the floor or uh, cleaning the bathroom or cleaning out the refrigerator or uh, any number of things, maybe small jobs around the house. Fixing small things, of course, don't get too crazy. Don't say, we need to put a new roof on the house because that is will involve, that will take someone the entire class to explain, even if you knew how to do it. All right. Um, okay. First student will, will say, well, we need to blah, blah, blah. We need to mop the floor. Okay. The next student in line will say, okay, we're going to need, what do you need to mop the floor? We're going to need a mop. We're going to need a pail uh, or bucket. And we're going to need some kind of soap, some detergent. Maybe we need some bleach. Uh, okay. And then the third student will explain the process. Okay. This is how I usually mop the floor. Put the first, and then you're going to have to use connectives to show sequence. First, you put the some detergent in the bucket, add some hot water. Uh, and then you put the mop into the hot water and you spread water evenly all over the floor. Okay, then you're going to rinse the mop, squeeze it out, make it as dry as you can and go back on the floor, starting in the farthest corner and going back toward the door and you're going to uh, mop back to the door and that's that's it. That's, that's it. But basically, hopefully we can learn a little vocabulary and uh, practice process explanation. Uh, hello, Heidi. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you? Nice to see you again. Nice I'm to see you. Fine. Great. And, okay. <laughs> and Heidi, you're it. Uh, where did the other... Who else was here? Somebody else oh, was here. Oh, disappeared. Disappeared, yeah. Okay. Uh, visit. <laughs> Just a short visit. Yeah. Uh, visit. <laughs> yeah, he visited. Okay. Um, well, we can start to get the idea. Any viewers out there in Verbling, um, feel free to join the class at any time. It doesn't matter if you're a little late joining the class. Or you can join at any point. Um, if anything, it'll actually help me if people join the class during the class. It will actually help mix things up a little, which would be good. So feel free to join at any time. This is quite simple, really. Ah, he's back. Uh, hello, Ralph. Is it Ralph? Hello? Ralph, can you say hello? I can hear your. I can hear sound, <laughs> and I see your micro. Your, you're not muted, and I can hear sound. Can you? Can you say hello? I don't know. Okay. All right. I definitely hear sound. Hmm. Strange. All right. Well, 
hello, Ralph, maybe you need to fix your microphone or something. If you can manage to get it fixed, that would be great since this is a speaking class. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, if you can somehow manage to fix that, just shout out a hello, hello, teacher, and I'll know that uh, I can now interact with you. All right. Okay, Heidi. Mm -hmm. I guess we can get started. What do we What do we need to do around the house? Mm, I want to wipe um, grass, window grass. Oh, yeah, my favorite job. Oh, really? No, I hate it. I'm totally lying to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me quickly say hello to Alberto. Hello, Alberto? Hello? Hello. Hi. Can you, can you hear me? I can hear you, but it sounds like somebody's vacuuming behind you. Mm -hmm. There's a loud noise behind you. I'm not sure if it's feedback. Your microphone, or if someone actually is vacuuming. Okay. On the motorboat. <laughs> on a motorboat. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, all right. Okay. All right, Heidi, you want to wash the windows? Okay. Uh, all right. Well. Um, all right. I'll go next. It depends on, uh, of course, how many windows, but uh, and what kind of windows, but I know for sure we're going to need some, I'll go next, we're, we'll need some glass cleaner, mm -hmm. we'll need some uh, rags um, or paper towels or even better, uh, and uh, we'll, if we what? have big windows. What do you say uh, the kind of rubber and like a uh, wiper on the car? Or I can't make the sound. I like it. Yep. I like yeah. It. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. If we have big windows, we're going to need a. I was just going to mention that. We're going to need a squeegee. Squeegee. A squeegee. It's a funny name. How do you spell squeegee? You have to give me a second on this one. Oh, it's a weird spelling, too. Wow. A squeegee. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Squeegee. <laughs> Alberto, <laughs> squeezy. That's what I call my wife. She's my little squeezy. Woo. Uh, okay. Anyway, the squeegee. Yes. Okay. Now, all right. Those are the tools we need. Now I need somebody to explain the process. Ralph, are you here? No. Not. Yes and no. Okay, I'm going to go to Ken then. Hey, Ken. Oh, yes, hello. How are you? I'm doing okay, Ken. Thank you very much. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Nice, nice to see you. Uh, all right. We're doing a little thing where we're taking turns. We're talking about what needs to be done in the house. The next person has to name all the tools, and you, Ken, are third, so you get to explain how to do it. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to wash the windows, and we mm -hmm. have glass cleaner, detergent type solution, and we've got rags, and we've got paper towels, and we've got a squeegee. Okay, Ken, how mm -hmm. do we clean the windows? Clean the window. Uh, how can I say? Uh, maybe I use uh, some chemical, kind of detergent or something. And, and I, I rarely clean up the window, but uh, yeah, if I clean up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 after that, I I how can I say how can I say, I I, I forgot the word. Uh, I use dry towel in the end. <laughs> okay. Dry, not wet towel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Give me detail. How do you how do you uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. How exactly do you do it? 
You yeah. Said, I, I need. I use. You use this. You use that. That was my job. I I told you what yeah. to use. You could explain how we use it. At the beginning, uh, I I use a wet towel. Uh, Okay. To clean up the window, but I forgot the word. How, how can I clean up the window? <laughs> kind of uh, by towel. Uh, okay. Yeah, not lovely to to shiny, to get shine shine. Uh, okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Let's make it clear. Mm -hmm. It's a window. You're probably looking for clear here. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so you use a wet, wet towel, okay, and you're gonna. Yes, that that yeah, that. Uh, wipe it side to side or in a circular I motion. I wipe the window. Yeah. Okay, wipe the window. There you go. All right, there's the verb. All right. All right. Okay. And then uh, I use dry towel to to finish my work. To get uh, to clear shiny Chinese strange uh, clear wind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. You're trying to remove the streaks, probably. Yes. yes. Clear. All right. Streaks. Uh, when you yeah. clean the windows, what happens is the um, the uh, detergent makes streaks. Right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so you try to remove the streaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Fine. But try to use first and then after that and next you're going to do something else. All right. Okay. And I wasn't clear. You have start with a wet towel, but did you do you put the d detergent? Do you squeeze the squeeze bottle onto the window? Squeeze mm -hmm. the detergent onto the window. Squirt. It's better verb. Squirt, squirt. You know the little gun. You squirt the chemicals onto the window. Then you use a towel, or do you get a wet towel? Do you soak it in a detergent or something? Mm -hmm. All right. So, make it. We're trying. We're striving to be very clear for those of us who don't know. Okay, how to wash windows. Uh, let me let me see. Uh, Alberto, are you here? Or can you? Alberto? I don't know what's going on. Ralph. Yeah, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm glad to be hearing you. I can hear you perfectly now. Okay, great. Yeah. Terrific. Am I saying your name correctly, actually? Ralph? Uh, Ralph, yeah. Ralph. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, Ralph. Uh, where are you from? Ralph. I'm from Algeria. Algeria. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, welcome to the class. Uh, Thank you. All right, Ralph. You can go first. What needs doing? What household job or little job, fix it job, or cooking or something like that? What do we need to do? Mm. Like. I don't understand the question. Okay, do you know what do you know what housework is? Yeah. All right. We normally uh, we all do housework every day. So mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're uh, we're I'm asking you just imagine for example Heidi just said we want to clean the windows and then I said mm -hmm. okay, we need detergent. One person goes first. What is the job you want to do? The second person needs to say all the tools you need to do the job. And the third person will explain how to do the job. So you're first. What job are we going to do? Okay, let's say uh, uh, clean the glasses. Clean the, the windows glasses. The window, the window. That's we just did that. <laughs> Why you were bouncing in and out? Oh, well, you guys like uh, to clean windows, apparently. Uh, wow. Okay. Try another one. Uh, let's say the door is uh, 
not closing very well I mean uh, the K is not working very well and we want to fix it what is not working very well uh, <coughs> The lock in the door. The lock of oh, the key. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> the key is not working very well. All right. The key is jamming. So what do you want to do? Uh. <laughs> you want to fix, fix, fix the lock? Yeah, fix the lock. Oh my gosh. Okay. Heidi. Hmm. Rauf wants to fix the lock. The lock. Yeah. What do we need? Some oil. Some oil? Oil. Okay. All right. Oil. Maybe some oil. Anything else we may need? Cloth. Cloth. Okay. Maybe, uh, all right. Obviously, there's different kind of oil. You're not going to use vegetable oil. You use to make oh. French fries. Like so. Machine oil? Machine oil. That's I right. Machine oil. Already, already uh, spindle oil. Spindle oil for a sewing machine. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Well, that's probably a kind of... Uh, we also can call it penetrating oil. The oil that you use for, like, your bicycle chain or for locks. Probably for sewing machines as well. For machinery. Uh, things with gears and such. Yeah, that's right. All right, some oil, a cloth. Maybe the key rock is rusty. So. Maybe. <laughs> Cross your fingers, that's all it is. All right, anything else? Or what if we have to take oil. the walk? What I, if I we... to wipe up the cloth. Yeah. What if, we, what if we have to take the lock apart? Remove the lock from the door. Uh -huh. The driver. Screwdriver, thank you. Yes, Alberto. All right. Okay. Do you know uh, what kind of screwdriver? Ha! <laughs> Rough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, look, look here. I just happen to have a screwdriver right here. Okay. Okay. I have a screwdriver, and uh, I have a Phillips head screwdriver. That's the screwdriver that's pointy, but it has four channels. So it looks like that. Plus. It looks like an X. Cross? What? What do you plus, call that? We call it cross screwdriver. Cross screwdriver, right? Okay. That's that's actually quite logical. <laughs> a sewing machine. They use minus, minus, right? Okay. All right. In English, the kind with the cross we call a Phillips head screwdriver. Mm -hmm. um, or the other flat kind is just a flathead screwdriver. Okay. So, yeah, all right, we might need a screwdriver. Great. Now, very good. I think we've got enough stuff there. Al Alberto, are you still <laughs> vacuuming? <laughs> what is that noise in the back? Wow. Yeah, great. What is the noise in the back? Where are you? <laughs> in my house. In your house. Okay. What is what is that crazy sound in your house? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe it's the sound of, of my computer. Sorry, sorry. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, what do you get? What are you working with there? Commodore sixty <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Alberto. Okay. Alberto, so we're going to fix the lock. All right? The key's sticking or something. All right. So we've got you've got some machine oil or penetrating oil and a couple of screwdrivers and a, a rag. All right. Usually, but everyone keeps saying a cloth, but really when we're doing household chores and you know, you use an old piece of cloth from a ripped shirt or something, an old towel or that has stains on it. Things we don't care about, so if we have to throw it away, okay, we can throw it away. But anyway, probably a rag. All right, Alberto, 
Now you get the challenging part. Alberto, how, how do we fix the lock? I don't know because it's a difficult job, I think. Okay. Have you ever fixed a lock before? No, never I fixed the, <laughs> the lock. I call to the men with... You call to men. The, the only tool you need is a cell phone. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Okay. Would you have that? Any idea how to start taking apart a lock? Yes, with one screwdriver. Okay. You can disarm the lock. All right. Well, you disarm probably, the lock. You're, you're probably going to have to learn. Turn the. There's a panel that the lock comes out of, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Like this. All right, or the light lock slides into. Usually that panel's on the door and it's held in by screws. Yes, and um, dismount the, the, the lock. If, okay, right. Depending on what kind of lock. All right. Yes, so this is the, one, the, the first step. The first step. Okay, thank you. The first step. That's what I'm looking <laughs> for. And next? Next, uh, we can change, change the lock. Change the lock. We're going to change the lock. Yeah, change the lock for one new. For one. <laughs> for one year. <laughs> no, no, for one new. For one new. Oh, for a new one. Change yeah, okay. the lock for a new one. How we'd say that in English. All right. Okay. We're going to totally remove it and put in a new lock. Often I've found that's a lot easier than trying to fix a broken one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, I I've definitely fixed locks before, or or not. I'm not that good at it. Uh, <laughs> I have a couple doorknobs in my house that are not really doorknobs. They're just kind of a, a handle sticking out. You have to turn to twist the handle. Mm -hmm. I'm not too good at it, so I'm with you, Alberto. Uh, okay, maybe you need. Uh, penetrating oil to make sure it works smoothly, perhaps. All right, now that's a hard one, fixing a lock. Yeah, that's one I know no good at. Let, let's try something else. Um, Ken, what do we need to do? Mm, for, for what? For whatever. Uh, name a household chore that we normally do that everyone will be able to explain. Um, what needs doing in the house? What is something you, you need to do in your house? Uh, laundry. Do the laundry. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Rauf, what do we need to do the laundry? Uh, we need the washing machine. Excellent. Yeah, some... Uh, 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 I don't know what is the word. <laughs> that well, uh, the thing that we use it in uh, washing clothes. Uh, well, what thing? <laughs> what do you mean? The uh, soap? I'm not sure. The the washing powder. Washing powder, okay, washing powder, laundry soap, laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. All right. Any of those will Stop. do. Okay. Water. Water, of course. Water, of course, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's all. I that's guess. all? Okay. You don't want any fabric softener, Ralph? You don't like to have a nice, mmm, pleasant smelling clothes? <laughs> <laughs> nice and soft. <laughs> okay, maybe bleach, perhaps. Perhaps sometimes some white clothes you might use bleach. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right. All right. Okay. Get a washing machine, some laundry detergent, water, and of course uh, you probably need the clothes. 
Just saying. Uh, okay. Heidi. How do we wash the clothes? At first, we need to um, segregate the color, white one and uh, uh, red or black or that color. Mm -hmm. I want to wash only white. White, white is only white. <laughs> then I uh, put in the put put them in the washing machine. Then detergent. And maybe there's some place to put softer. Ah. Then press right. press the bottom. <laughs> Whoops. Wait for then, 20, for okay. 20 to 30 minutes. I like, I like to dry the hanging out on the balcony. And then <laughs> the machine. <laughs> so after finished, I bring them in the balcony. The hang, hang up or Laundry. Okay. Well, I'm um, hanging up the the first one. I put black or red or blue or colors in the machine again. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. And start the process over again. Yeah. And repeat the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This is a phrase we use in English. If the whole process needs to be repeated. Has anybody ever... This is kind of stupid. Has anybody ever read the instructions on a bottle of shampoo? <laughs> I know. Obviously, you know how to shampoo your hair. I think we're all grown-ups and we can all do that. Um, you should do it sometime because it'll make you, it'll make you laugh. Pretty much every bottle of shampoo, if the writing is in is in English, this is what it says. It, they all have instructions. Just look for it. They're always there. The instructions always say just this. Lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> That's it. Those are your instructions. How to use shampoo. And uh, really, take a look sometime and you will find that on every bottle of shampoo. Okay. Very good, Heidi. Uh, all right. Fabric softener. That's what I was suggesting Suggesting to Rauf. We may need fabric oh, softener. Oh, after that, I need to iron. Oh, that's another job. Maybe then somebody else. Or then uh, put them on the... Yeah, yeah. Do what? Then finish. <laughs> okay. What? You don't just take, take your clothes and <laughs> smash them up? Okay, it's clean. Great. Uh, right. All right. Now, Heidi, what's the difference? You said you're going to segregate the clothes, which may not be wrong. But what is the difference between segregate and separate? You, you segregate for the trash or something. Okay. Well, basically... To separate means you have a pile of mixed up things and you, like, yeah, like trash or recyclables. You separate, okay, here's plastic, here's glass, here's paper. Okay, you separate the items. So you're probably going to separate your clothes. To segregate means that you're keeping different things apart. If you mm -hmm. segregate people, you keep these people away from these people. Um, so if you're going to segregate with a G, segregate your clothes, that means somehow you're making sure that they don't get mixed up again. You're <laughs> uh, which may be possible, but I wouldn't worry about it because clothes aren't likely to come together again. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Let, let's move on. Alberto, what's our job? What do we need to do? About... Sorry? Uh, any job around the house, 
<laughs> make a sandwich, change a tire on your car. Um, I don't know. Any, maybe fan. maybe washing washing a corridor in in a hotel. What? Washing a coffee pot? No, corridor, corridor in a hotel. The ground of hotel of one hotel. Okay. You know what means hotel, no? Yeah, hotel. Yeah, I got okay. that part. A hotel has corridors. Corridors. Oh, hallways. Corridors. Yes. Corridors. Oh, okay. alrighty. Okay. okay. All right. So we're gonna clean the corridors. Yes, and the rooms. And the rooms. <laughs> You're getting a little ambitious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've seen those people that work in a hotel. They have a big cart with a garbage bag. They have a lot of tools. They have a lot yeah, of yeah, things yeah. to work with. Yeah. Well, let's keep it simple. Let's let's just clean the hallways or corridors. They, they have uh, ski. They have a ski. No. A ski. They have. Sorry. They have what? Ski. S squeegee. Yeah. Squeegee? <laughs> Probably. They have a squeegee and squeegee. sponges and numerous types of different soaps and detergent. Yeah, but let's, okay, let's just clean. All right, we're going to clean the hallway. Uh, uh, okay, Ken, what do we need to clean the hallway? Uh, the vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner? Hallway, I, I'm not sure. The hallway means a uh, kind of a small... Corridor like <laughs> kind of <laughs> uh, hallway. Uh, hallway is a kind of a uh, door. Do, uh, no. People enter the ha ha house from from there. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me try to explain that a little better. Hallway and corridor are the same thing, but generally a hallway is smaller. Like in your house, you know, there's a hallway to your bathroom, for example. Mm -hmm. But he had mentioned in a hotel, and he said court, which would be correct, by the way, for a hotel. A corridor is longer or maybe wider, but just yeah. generally bigger. All right, like yeah, the like long. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. but it anyway. Yeah, like a, a, you would find a corridor, and you would call it a corridor in a hallway because it's long and there's a lot of room, different rooms. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I, yeah, uh, I use a uh, vacuum cleaner to clean up the corridor. Well, not corridor. I'm, I'm, I'm not living in mansion, so I'm kind <laughs> of far <laughs> away. Okay, because there I mean, there's no so many. Uh, I, you know, usually Japanese took off the shoes inside the house, so right. it's not so difficult to clean up by vacuum cleaner. I care. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure of the other situations, house. But yeah, yeah I, even in America, I clean up the yeah the floor in vacuum cleaner, you know. So it's not yeah. so difficult, yeah. Clean. Right, and it depends on what kind of floor you have. If it's carpet, obviously vacuum cleaner, right? Mm -hmm. If it's hardwood floor, then you're going to need to sweep it and mop it, and maybe even wax it. If yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Right. If it's tile, then sweep and mop. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. So it and depends. La lubricant wax. Uh, Wax towel or something. I don't know. How can I say it in English? Uh, say again. What, what? Kind of towel or mop to uh, to the floor shiny. Oh, wax. a buff. <laughs> you mean to wax it? You, yeah. You like they have it in a school or in a hotel, a machine? Uh, no, it, it, it's it's just a simple mop, and but it uh, um, a chemical. Uh, how can I say? Is uh, it simmer, uh, simmer, simmer, chemical shimmer mop to get get the floor uh, shiny. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe okay. kind of mop, mop, chemical mop. Yeah, is that a simple? Not, yeah. Okay, chemical mop. I'm not sure what that is. Just mm -hmm. mop. Okay. I mean, really, mops. There's just mops. There's a dust mop. All right, which you just you don't really use water on a dust mop. It's just a, like a duster, you use it on the floor. 
and there's also a, a regular mop mop. You get wet, and then there's a squeegee mop, the kind of mop that has a squeegee. And you, you can it has a sponge actually, mm -hmm. and you use a squeegee to squeeze out the water. Mm -hmm. It's a squeegee mop. Okay, Ken, have you ever used a buffer? Actually, buffer, B buffer means what? What is buffer? Um, it's a machine. You, you wouldn't use it. You no one would have it in their house. But like in a school or in a hotel or mm -hmm. any other big building, it's for floors, shiny floor, like tile floors, mm. <clears throat> or possibly for hardwood floors. It's a machine, and it's like a, it's got a big rotating base, mm -hmm. okay, and you turn it on, and it's got a break, and it's big, and it's heavy, and it, and it. It buffs the floor. It shines the floor. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. I I've, I've seen it, but I've never used it. Oh, you should, you've got to try it. They're very heavy and big, and because of the rotation, the centrifugal force, it always wants to go this way. It, it always wants to pull you, and it's very heavy. So you have to kind of counterbalance and lean the other way. Mm. So you're always in. I see. It, yeah, it's, it's very weird because it's spinning one direction. Centrifugal force mm -hmm. wants it. If you just if you left your took your hands off one of those things, they just spin around like crazy and they shoot off. Mm. And they're very heavy. They're actually kind of a little bit hard to control. You have to mm -hmm. uh, you have to kind of learn how to use it. Mm -hmm. and, and when you first try it, you're going to make mistakes. You crash into things. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much more difficult than it looks. Is what I'm trying to say. It looks simple because you see people doing it who do it all the time. But when you first try it, it it's <laughs> – yeah, anyway. Okay, Rauf. Mm -hmm. All right, very simple. You've got an easy one. Okay, we're going to vacuum the hallway. Please explain. How, how do we vacuum the hallway? Yes. We've got a vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay, we've got our we, vacuum cleaner. We what need, do we to, need? Uh, to uh, plug in the vacuum cleaner to the electricity. Okay. And turn it uh, on. Then, then start uh, using it. All right, and how do we use it? We, uh, we uh, we put our uh. We put our hands on the vacuum. Uh, I'm sorry, the, I, I the can't handle? find the word. Maybe the handle. Yeah. Okay. All right, the handle. Great. Yeah. Yeah, and that, then and that starts uh, using it simply. Okay. Um, pushing it back and forth, back and forth, back. Yeah. And forth. That, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Back and forth motion across mm -hmm. the hall. Okay. Uh, all right. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Yeah, we're explaining simple process, so explain it like you're explaining it to a four-year-old. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Who's never vacuumed before, or a space alien, yeah. maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. What are we going to do next? Uh, oh. But wait, but wait, Rauf, that was too easy. Yeah. What if the vacuum cleaner has a bag and it's full? Yeah, we need to uh, we need to clean the bag. Okay. And uh, and take the take the rubbish from it. 
right. and uh, put it uh, put it again to the uh, vacuum cleaner and uh, start using using it again. Okay. Uh, we may have to reattach. Mm -hmm. Put it put it again. You can, you can say reattach. Uh, Re reattach. Attach is to fix something to something else. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so you do it again. Re in English again. Reattach the bag. Re right. Yeah. All right. That, that works. Okay. Great. All right, uh, Heidi. What's our next task? Next task. Hmm. I want to have barbecue party in the in my garden. Oh. All right. Okay. All righty then. Uh, great. Uh, all right. Rolf just explained, so I'm going to have Rolf tell us what we need. Ken, you can explain how to do it. Rauf, what do we need for Heidi's mm -hmm. barbecue party? Uh, we we need uh, corn. <laughs> corn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we need uh, uh, the grill, I guess. Excellent. Very yeah. good. We need a grill. Yes, we do. Obviously, we need meat. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe we need a uh, uh, a fan. So okay. we so the grill uh, can burn. The, uh, we can burn the grill uh, good. All right. What are we burning? In the grill. Uh, uh, the coal. Char okay, very good. Charcoal. Um, usually we call that charcoal. The black pieces of uh -huh. charred wood. Okay, very good. Excellent. So grill, charcoal, meat, corn. What else? Uh, Gonna. What do we need to start the fire? We need a uh, lighter. Sure, a lighter or a match. Sure. All right. And when we cook the food, we're gonna need some tools. Fork. Fork. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, the, uh, a plow. A what? Plow. Plate. Uh, plate, yeah. Plate, yeah. We're going to need a plate, maybe more than one, probably. Yeah, uh, that's all, I guess. That's all? Okay. That's all you get, Ken. All right, Ken. Mm hmm. You ready to barbecue? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Ken, have you ever cooked a barbecue before? Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Raul. That was that was great. Ken, sorry. I use paper. What? You use paper? You hear me? Hello. It's in and out. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Now we're good. Yeah, uh, my suggestion is uh, use a uh, paper paper plate because it's outside, so a paper plate is easier to, <laughs> no, to uh, how can I say, uh, to uh, to clean up or or and if a person uh, you know drop the plate, maybe it, it might crack uh, crack or break break. So use okay. you know, paper plate. It's lighter than the, a ceramic plate. Okay. And sometimes people enjoy fireworks. Enjoy <laughs> <Fireworks>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the summer, uh, beach barbecue, yeah. Firework and barbecue is almost a set. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, but now it's your job to explain the process of mm -hmm. how to do the barbecue. Oh, uh, okay. How to cook. Okay. How to cook. Right. How to physically actually do uh, the barbecue. Uh, oh, sorry, I couldn't step hear. Step one. The... Step two. Mm -hmm. Step three. Like that. Step one. Uh, prepare the uh, kind of equipment: barbecue grill, yeah. and and charcoal, and put the charcoal on the barbecue grill, and put the light on it. And and then uh, you bring the you put the uh, ingredient meat and uh, and just wait to the the that 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 ingredients how can I say uh, uh, has done <laughs> wait for wait okay. for the ingredients. Has done. Uh, yeah. Okay. To be done. To be done. Yeah. To be cooked thoroughly. To be cooked. Yeah. To be cooked thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. How about corn? Ralph has gotten us corn for our barbecue. Mm -hmm. How should we cook the corn? Uh, put on the grill and just wait. Maybe it's corn is not easy to bake, so you need to saturate the corn. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And you can uh, know the uh, how you can cook uh, when the uh, uh, corn cooked, uh, but uh, in, in accordance with uh, the color of the corn. Cooked corn is uh, more yellow than low cook, low corn. Really? Yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I just uh, yeah, that color. Yeah. I'm oh. not so sure. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Japanese corn. I'm not sure. American sugar corn, the kernels are bright yellow and, and some are white. So depends on the kind of corn, I think, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. I have a question for you, Ken. What's the difference between a grill and a hibachi? Uh, grill is uh, usually is made of iron, but hibachi is uh, made of ceramic. Because it's a traditional ah. one. There's no iron kind of thing in the past here. So hibachi is ceramic and round. Shape is different. Usually hibachi is round. Ceramic. Yeah, OK. All right. Yeah. Ah, interesting. OK, I've been wondering that for a long time. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, You're welcome. All right. And uh, OK, how do, um, how do you know when the all right you discussed when the corn is done? How do you know when the meat is done? Uh, meat is done also just the uh, maybe I stick the uh, how can I say cho uh, uh, chopsticks in the in the meat. Yeah, to meat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. if the meat is this the lead and you know blood maybe it's not it's raw it's not it's not done. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Oh, for, you can use fork yeah for that yeah. Fork, fork. all right. I prefer tongs myself when I barbecue. You know what tongs are? Tongs. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was a prefect. Yeah, it's like pinchers, like crap. Yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, they're made of metal, and you can grab things. You can grab a steak and flip it over, or grab a piece of chicken and move it. Pick it up, put it on a plate. Mm -hmm. I prefer tongs. I uh, yeah, definitely because I uh, chopsticks or fork is you know it's too hard to to catch the meat. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a professional chef for many years, and of course, professional chefs each chef will have his own knife set. All right, you'll have your own knives. But your tongs are like your hands. You can't pick up food that's cooking. So your tongs are your hands. So every chef has their own favorite tongs that they use every day. And sometimes they adjust the tension on the tongs with rubber bands or something. And they try to protect their tongs from the other cooks and chefs. You want to have your own tongs. They're, they're like your hands. But anyway, you get used to pick. You can do anything with tongs. Type on the computer with tongs. You're gonna read a book with tongs. <laughs> you get you get very adept at using the tongs. I'm sure this. Uh, yeah. 
crazy. Um, okay. All right. Next. What? Uh, what's next? Uh, all right. What's our next job? Uh, Raouf, it's your turn to pick. What's uh, our next job? What do we need to do? Uh, uh, we need to change the the lamp because it's uh, change uh, burned burned out. Oh, change the light bulb. Light bulb, yeah. Ah, in the lamp. Oh, we need to change. That's a good one. We need to change the light bulb in the lamp. All right. Because um, it's burned out. We say it's burned out. Oh, that's burned a good one. Out. Terrific. Good job. Excellent. All right, Ken, what do we need? What do we need to change the light bulb? Uh, uh, light bulb? I, I couldn't get that meaning. Light bulb. Light bulb. Yeah. Light bubble. A bulb. A <laughs> bubble. That's funny. <laughs> light bulb. Uh, there, I put it in the verbal um, chat. Light yeah, I. Uh, the thing you screw in. Yes, I screw, usually screw, screw, uh, I screw out and screw in the new bar, light bulb. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, current. So, so what do you need to do the job? Do you need a hammer? <laughs> hot, so I use a kind of glove, glove to touch it. Glove if it's hot, if it's still hot. Yes, yes. Maybe, yes. okay. All right, maybe gloves and then new light bulb. All right. <laughs> um, maybe, here's one, maybe a potato. I'm actually not kidding about that. Heidi, all right, <laughs> yay. Now's your chance to explain how to change a light bulb. <laughs> at, at first, you need to bring um, ladder, ladder or chair yeah. under the lamp. Okay. And then um, bring bring the, the new lamp bar, bulb, new lamp bulb. And don't ride on a chair or ladder. At the first, um, to remove the old one. Yes. Okay. Or if there has a cover, at the first you need to ah. cover. Right. Then next you need to remove the lamp bulb and put another new lamp bulb. Close the cover. Ah, uh, before closing cover, maybe you need to wipe wipe up <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> ah, something I never remember to do. There are many dust or uh, dead bugs. <laughs> some uh, some mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, insects. Right. Okay. Uh, then put the cover. Okay. Heidi, why did I say maybe you might need a potato? Potato. Yeah. <laughs> why? why? Have you have you ever used a potato to change a light bulb? No. Ah. Well, anybody uh, can, Rauf? Why would I use a potato? No, no, no idea. Can? No. no. Okay, occasionally this happens. Occasionally, especially in an old fixture, that's the thing that holds the light bulb. It's called the fixture. Occasionally with an old fixture, or maybe it's bent slightly or whatever, sometimes you go to take the light bulb out and the light bulb will break. Uh -huh. So you have only little pieces of glass or only the metal thing sticking in. All right? Mm -hmm. But you have, you have the little things sticking down. Actually, a potato works great for this. Mm -hmm. You just smash the potato into the thing, and then you can use the potato to screw it. It mm -hmm. sticks because the inside of the potato is kind of sticky. It sticks. Also, the a bonus is if you forget to turn the lights off, 
it won't conduct electricity, so you, you won't be electrocuted. And you can use the potato to take a broken light bulb out. Works very well. And you don't cut yourself, which is a huge bonus. And then you don't have to mess around trying to figure out how to do it with pliers and a screwdriver. And a potato, it's amazing how well a potato works. It's like easy. <laughs> Turn out. Good. Great. So remember that next time. Handyman <laughs> tips. Yeah. Yeah. So you may need a potato to change a light bulb. It works great. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, see, we're learning English and handy household tips. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we probably have time for about one more. Uh, Ken, what should we do? Mm, uh, do dishes. Do the dishes. Oh, I knew, somebody, knew somebody's going to say that. Ah, uh, really? So. No, no, no. I said I knew someone would would say that. Okay. This is the first time. This is it's good. Heidi, what do we need to do the dishes? Rauf, you're going to explain how to do the dishes. All right. Uh, so Heidi, what do we need to do the dishes? Big bowl. Big bowl and uh, detergent for for dish sponge. Okay. okay. That's basket. What's that? Basket on the sink. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, I, I want to use boiled water in the bowl. Okay. You can. All right. She wants to use very hot water. Mm -hmm. All right. That thing that you can hold dishes in to dry off or drip dry, we call that a dish strainer. Some like towel, dried uh, cloth. Okay. You might need it. You might want to do it that way. You might. Or a paper it. towel. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And the soap we use, dish soap or dish detergent, mm -hmm. whatever. You really can't go wrong with the word detergent because we use that for everything: laundry detergent, dish detergent, <laughs> floor cleaner detergent. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so we got the dish strainer, a bowl of uh, hot water, we got some dish soap, we got a sponge. What about those nasty frying pans where everything gets stuck on the bottom of the pan? Heidi? Huh? Some sponge, but harder one. Sponge. A harder one. Mmm. Okay. Do you ever use the metal things? The oh, metal steel, yes. Pad? Um, some some kind of steel. Right. That's it. Very good. Steel wool. Ah, uh, steel wool. Yes. Yeah. Yes, like wool on a sheep, except wool on a metal sheep. <laughs> yeah. Where do they get steel wool? Well, from iron sheep, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Ralph, okay. Ralph, mm -hmm. do, do you ever do the dishes? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay, very good. All right. All right. Explain uh, how you do it, please. Uh, do I have to explain a random dish? Sure, you can, that's a good idea. You ch choose a pick, imagine a random dish and explain how you clean it. Very good. Uh. Okay. Let's say I'm going to uh, uh, fry fry the eggs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I take uh, an egg, <laughs> then uh, broke it. Oh wait a minute! Hang on. Hold everything. No, no, we're just cleaning the cleaning the pan. That's all. Uh, the pan. Yeah. In actuality, Ken, so long. Okay, I'm sorry. Actually, okay. the dishes have to remain dirty. I have to go. I have another class. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have to go too. Thank you, Rauf. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you.
Thank you, man. All, right. All right. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.